use up that specialty card stock and scraps. Hello everyone, my name is Brennan and welcome to Brennan's Crafty Corner. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making this wonderful card with a bunch of different cardstock little pieces. You could use scraps, I didn't because I didn't have any on hand that I wanted to use, but this is a great way to use your specialty cardstock to get a really beautiful look. Just look at all that shine. So let's get into the video. Okay, so today we're going to be using some um, cardstock from Tonic Studios. We'll be using their glitter card stock in cobalt blue, as well as berry fizz in this silver, um, oh my gosh, what is it called? It's leaving my head, but where it's shiny, um, metallic, not metallic, is it metallic? Mirror card stock. And I am sorry, but I don't know the name of this. I'm sure it's all over the website because this is older. That's why we're also going to be using the Flower for All Seasons stamp set. This has so many amazing florals. Each one has a dye. Even the sentiments have dyes. It's amazing. So let's get into it. To start, I'm going to be using my Tim Holtz Tonic Studios trimmer, and I'm just going to be cutting each of the cardstocks into different size strips. You don't want them to be even. You want it to be a variety of sizes so you can have a very cool effect. Also, I want to give full credit to an amazing channel called Meister Arts and Crafts. Libby is the person is the person who runs it. She is amazing. She's a fellow teenage crafter, and I saw her video on this, and I thought I need to do this as well. And I just wanted to give her a shout out. I will link all of her information below, all of her socials. She's amazing. You all need to go check her out. So I cut the blue and the purple glitter cardstock. Now I'm just gonna do. Is it holographic or mirror? I think it's mirror. But we'll do holographic slash mirror. I act I did more of this than I need it. Now I'm going to be putting some Tonic Studios tissue tape, which I've done a review on on my channel. It is absolutely amazing, especially for adhering vellum to any cardstock. It works great. So I'm going to be putting this onto a card front. It's just going to make the entire thing sticky, so it's very easy to put the pieces on instead of having to deal with all the liquid glue. And I'm also just going to put run my scissors up the side of the card front just to trim off any of the excess t um, tissue tape just because you know we don't need it it's just, it's just annoying if it's there so we're gonna get rid of it and cut it down to the exact size of the card front then I'm gonna peel back the um backing of the tissue tape I was peeling at the wrong side of the cardstock first I'm like oh no <laughs> and then I realized and then I'm like okay there we go so I believe I'm gonna do purple the mirror and then blue. A little tip that I learned, and I learned this like at the very end of course, is that you want to get it perfect on one corner and then you can kind of swing it down and adhere it perfectly. It's gonna look really good if you do it that way. It took me a while to do it a different way, but it still looked good, but I learned that at the very end. So if you're gonna do this, that's just a little tip for you if you're using some sort of tape adhesive. If you're using regular glue, you'd be fine without it. So I finished my little pattern here, and now I'm going to go back to my trimmer and just cut off the excess. This will create a very nice looking panel, and you don't need the excess that's hanging off. But you could save these and make another card with them. Realistically, I'm not doing that though. Y y no, it it's not happening. I'm sorry. Th these went in the trash. I I'm sorry. They're very beautiful, but I I'm not doing the pieces that small. I'm sorry, y'all. Reduce, reuse, recycle, I know. I'm sorry, but I just cut that off, and then I cut a little bit of the blue off. I kept cutting it wrong, though my hand kept slipping, but there is our finished panel, and it looks so amazing. Now I'm just going to take what I'm calling the glimmery, shimmery, shiny panel and glue that down to my card front just to secure it in place, and then I'll add the flower once I do the flower. So just some of the Nouveau glue from Tonic Studios, and I'm just going to glue that down, and then I'm going to shift it around a little, just because I want it to be perfect, or as perfect as possible, because perfection isn't achievable, but just to get it to the way I like it, so I was like messing with it for a little while. Okay, so now I'm going to take some black cardstock in this wonderful floral stamp with a ton of little flowers, and I'm going to do some heat embossing. I can't believe I didn't use alcohol markers on this, but I didn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my anti-static powder, which I rarely use, but I was like, you know what? I want it to be as good as possible, and it actually works. I should really start using this more, to be honest. I knew it worked, but I just never used it. So I stamped that in some Versamark ink, and then I'm going to take some white embossing powder and just pour that onto it. 
I took a risk here and didn't do it over anything. I will dump it into a coffee filter. Pro tip, use coffee filters for embossing powder, because then you can create it into a little funnel to funnel it back in. But there is our um, flowers with embossing. Then I just heat set it and melted it. Then I'm going to take the coordinating die and cut it out. So, so now I'm just going to add some glue to the back of the flowers so I can glue it down. Obvious. <laughs> so I just glued that down to the front of the card front. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm I'm right. I'm 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 Dr. Seuss over here. <laughs> now I'm just gonna glue the um card front, add glue to the back of it to glue that to my classic black mat, just because it works really well with the black flowers. Well, they're not really black flowers, but you know what I mean. And then I'm gonna glue the bl the black mat to the card. Base. There we go. See, tongue twist. It's not a tongue twister. But I'm gonna glue that down and then we will have our finished card. And I love this card so much. Thank you all so much for watching. This video is a little different for me because I did not use any alcohol markers, which I use in practically every card. I also didn't use any regular ink, just embossing. So hey, you do something new every day. Once again, thank you all so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please give a thumbs up. Pow, 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 pow. And also give hit the subscribe button. Y'all know what I mean. Have a great rest of your day, everyone, and bye. Happy crafting!